Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Mental Cast. This is episode number 418. You can listen to us every Wednesday on MNT, uh, tvforyourmind.com, uh, via Mixcloud. You can contact us via email at mentalcast at g- gmail.com, and you can like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash mentalcast. I am Mike Riley. I'm Dane Forgione. I am Billy Carter. I'm Ashley Miller. I'm Jace the Ace. Aldous and Andy Rooney, tonight on 60 Minutes. You want to know what I don't understand? <laughs> Why is it called taking a dump instead of leaving a dump? You're After all, you don't... taking the dump anyway. Anyway. <laughs> These stories and Vince McMahon. Take it to the hilt! Yeah! Work the, work the shaft! We've got to put somebody in the main event. Damn it, everybody's injured. <laughs> We have to make Roman look strong. That's it. Somebody get Virgil on it. He's long and he's strong and he's down to get the friction on. <laughs> Ouch. Uh, you know, you you might as well put The Undertaker up against a fucking bear, because that's the only way WrestleMania is going to make up for all of its injured parties. Uh, speaking of that, how is El Sandra doing? <laughs> 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 I'm a bear. <laughs> I'm a I'm a big old gorilla bear. I'm a beat. I'm a nice bear approves. It's been a while. Uh, one because, week since you looked at people, me. No, <laughs> no uh, dartboard's <laughs> actually taking a break because we're transitioning. We're going yeah. to yeah, they're uh, male to female. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, they're leaving Geek Juice and joining M and T. Um. Mm-hmm. As soon as that's hopefully as soon as that's done. So, MNT, what's that? Uh, it's mental. I it, it got renamed today. <laughs> mental Network Television. Basically, uh, it doesn't um, really stand for anything, but I guess it could stand for that. If you put a gun to my head and told me to make it stand for something, that would be what I would say. <laughs> uh, it's it's like how the CM and CM Punk don't mean shit. Yeah, the MTV don't mean nothing. <laughs> You know, pretty well, much. It, it used to. It used yeah. to. Now it doesn't. Now they've made the point to cut the logo off right before the music television, so that you don't see it yeah. anymore. Punk. All right, TV. MNT, my friends. All right, MTV. Um, Mediocre twat vision. Wiggling juice. Yeah. <laughs> the V wiggling. stands for wiggling. Apparently, I don't know. If it was wiggling. Viggling. 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 <laughs> Just... Viggling. All right. Let's. I've got double vision. We got the stories, right, Mike? No, but I have the stories. Okay. Uh, let's get All right on. into the top five mental news stories of the week. That's right. It's the mental news stories of the week. You give us 22 minutes. I'll tell you why I ran. I ran so far away. It was that damn flock of seagulls that were chasing you. I know. They they just they wouldn't stop <laughs> shitting on me. <laughs> Couldn't get away. <laughs> Your hair is fabulous, by the way. <laughs> Thank you. For the 80s, yes. Oh, by the way, uh, it, t- today's Dane's birthday. We're recording this. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. But don't sing anymore because we might get sued. No, it's... it's Actually, no. It's, it's, public uh, domain. It's, it is public domain now. <laughs> I just want to do that joke though. Happy happy Bye, morph day. Copyright. Do you want to tell people how old you are? I'm 82. All right. Actually, I'm 31. He's 31, folks. Wait, you're old. Wait, you're old. Wait, than you're me? old. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm older than you. Wait a minute, you're so old. 
Yeah. I oh, thought God. you were younger than me. What the fuck? Now you know. Yeah, I think Jace. Damn is, it. I think Jace is the youngest on the call. Possibly. Confirmed. Probably. Denied. Probably, <laughs> but at the same time, I also probably feel the oldest. Well. well me and, it's me really, and, it's really a simple way to. to yeah, uh, well, me, Dane, and Billy are thirty-one. Ashley's twenty-nine. Are you younger than twenty-nine? I'm, <laughs> I'm thirty. Oh, you're thirty. Okay, so Mike. you're younger than thirty. Yeah. So okay, so you're youngest. Yeah. <laughs> it's the easiest oh, to figure I, out. I was, I was, I thought like Jace was twelve. I was. No. <laughs> I'm only three and a half years old. <laughs> I was in the purge. Jace, Jace, I will, I will pay you to never do that again. <laughs> it's just as bad you as when me. Michelle does it, right? Yeah, it's, it, actually, I think it's just as good. <laughs> he so, probably um, feels older because Adam Sandler sucked all the vitality out of him. <laughs> That's true. I, I blame, nah, said, it was I, Kevin I James. I blame I Kevin James. Said vitality. <laughs> the Great Pearl Jam album. Sucked in any event, anyway. Uh, if you remember, like an hour ago, we introduced the uh, top five men of the story, so let's get into that. <laughs> Number five, right out of a spring break movie. Okay. Oh, dear. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Uh, and Florida. Take a shot. Uh, really any shot. surprise? Oh, uh, <sighs> Daytona Beach, one. as a matter of fact. Two spring breakers were arrested Friday for stealing a beach patrol personal watercraft that was beached in Daytona Beach. Did I say beach enough in that sentence for you? Uh, mm-hmm. officials said the personal watercraft had a mechanical issue around 5 o'clock and was beached. Two spring ba- breakers jumped on the personal watercraft on the beach and rode it off the beach near the, uh, Main Street Pier. Officers beach followed beach. the spring breakers on the beach. The spring breakers beached the personal beach watercraft and, uh, tried to run away off the beach, but were caught by beach officials. The, uh, beach breakers will be beached with a grand beach of a beach according to beaches. So, so and I heard the guys from Baywatch were really upset. <laughs> yeah, the Mitch. Rock, Dwayne Johnson specifically, who laid the smackdown oh. on their candy beach asses. Yes, <laughs> jump bronies. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> fuck oh. boys. This this is a message for all the fuck boys out there. If if something doesn't belong to you, don't ride it. That includes <laughs> you know vehicle personnel, your bros, girl. You just you don't ride it. Dude. Unless you're the Quad City DJs, then come on, ride then the train. Then you can ride the train. Ride it. <laughs> come on, ride Son it, of man. a bitch. Come on, ride the train. <laughs> woo, woo, ride it. Woo. Number four, men's underwear gets the pussy. Yay. <laughs> oh, God. It's not what you think. Oh, darn it. Is this going... underwear outside of pants? No. He's Quail Man. No, there's, it's not a man involved, actually. Uh, uh, okay. It's literally a cat. Uh, New Zealand, as a matter of fact. <clears throat> I believe it's New Zealand. Oh, yeah, it's New Zealand. Okay. A six-year-old cat burglar with a taste for men's underwear is terrorizing the streets of Hamilton. Like many cats, Bridget the Tonkinese is a nocturnal hunter, but her prey is specifically socks and boxer briefs. The cat who lives on George Street in Hamilton East has brought home 11 pairs of underpants and more than 50 socks in the last two months. And those are just the ones her owner, Sarah Nathan, has kept. It's all men's. It's really, really weird. She's got really specific taste. The Nathan suspects they all belong to the same unlucky neighbor. She said Bridget has been collecting men's wear for about two of the six months that they've lived at the current property. Uh, at their previous home, she was thieving as well, but was less specific. Uh, in our last house, she'd bring home a bit of everything. She'd bring home men's undies, women's undies, togs. She even brought home a hockey shin pad and a jumper. She was much less discerning now that she's decided menswear is the thing and is very specific kind of underpants that she likes. She stopped when we moved to St. Jo- uh, to George Street, but she obviously got herself acclim- acclimatized because now she's rampant again. Uh, it's an absolute obsession. Uh, a night does not go by without her bringing things home. I got up this morning and there were another four socks in the house. Bridget sometimes puts her booty on Nathan's bed or at its base. Sometimes they're left outside the cat flap. We just did a really big gardening session and we found a whole bunch of them stuck in the fence. Nathan said she thought Bridget may have tried to jump over the fence with them and got stuck. Does nobody in this town have a dryer? <laughs> because I love stories about cat burglars. Because... 
I, I did uh, post the picture of this cat also. Like a caveman. Yeah, I did post a picture of this cat, by the way. You can see it in the One of two things is occurring. One mm-hmm. of two things is occurring. Mm-hmm. Either there's bestiality involved, no. or someone's no. not washing their balls enough, and that the cat's like, ooh, Whoa. avocado. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Okay, I need to take my headset off. My balls smell like avocado. Uh. (laughs) Are they as wrinkly as avocados? Well, Uh. well, avocado is, um, like, I think, Ecuadorian for Uh. testicle. Never mind. And Ooh. it's also safe for it if you're really friendly. You, 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 but that's you, beside you, the point. You, you, avocado. You, 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 you. You know, you, 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 you know what? Check, 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 check it, it out. Check it out. What, 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 what would you do? On? What would you do? Speaking of Beastie Boys, uh, number three, no sleep till Boston. Oh shit! And this is oh, Boston. Oh god! And this is Boston. Oh god! Oh Man. god! Oh crap! Uh, oh, shit, crap. Dude. Oh, oh shit, dude! Oh man! What? What the hell? This has got to be. Oh man! This has got to be one, oh. one of those drunken St. Patty's Day parade uh, escapades. Police in Central Massachusetts yeah. are warning residents to be on the lookout for men who may be challenging passersby to a rap battle. Yeah, man. <laughs> Yo. Yep. I heard of this. Charlton police said a black <laughs> SUV with two or three men in their late teens or early 20s inside pulled up to three young teenage boys on Dresser Hill Road at 3 p.m. Saturday. One of the men, described as having brown hair and a pale complexion, wearing a gray t-shirt, gray pants, and open-toed sandals, got out of the vehicle and started rapping, while the other men asked the boys if they wanted to split some bars with them. When the boys declined... Oh, I'm sorry, spit some bars, not split. Uh, when the boys declined... Can you tell I'm white? Uh, when the boys yeah. declined, the SUV drove off. Although this bis- suspicious behavior was uh, frightening to the boys, nothing made this appear to be an attempted abduction, Charlton posted, uh, police posted on Facebook. Anyone with credible information is asked to call the police department. It there was M&M. Yo. It was M&M, judging by the appearance. <laughs> Nine hey, miles. He's not from Boston, though. He's from Florida. <laughs> Psst. Hey. Yeah. Hey, yo. You want to you want to drop some sick beats? Do I want to drop yeah. what, Mister? <laughs> you want to drop some sick beats? Do, do, uh, do you want to spit fire? Do you do you have you have any pot? No, no I just want to rap. I have, I have. Uh, yeah. No, I just have the CD of the greatest hits of the beats. Um, <laughs> never uh, mind. Never mind then. Killer Tom. I don't want to die. You want to die? Let me tell you something. I don't want to die. <laughs> when did this turn into a Toadie song? <laughs> <laughs> when did this turn into a Toad the Red Sprocket video? <laughs> the train never coming back. That's not Toad the Wet Sprocket, you fuck. That's Soul Asylum, dude. <laughs> I know. I, toad, the I, wet, I, toad the Wet Sprocket is, uh, all, all I, I want, want is to feel this way. This way, Be yeah, I this know. close and feel I was being facetious. Same. <laughs> All I want is to go into news story number two. Tales of a first grade nothing. Oh dear. <laughs> uh oh. That's the title of the number two story, and it's Florida. Take a shot. Fort Lauderdale this time. A South Florida Florida. teacher has been fired after she showed up for work drunk. <laughs> okay, listen up, you little shitheads. <laughs> I want you to write a report about how your mommies and daddies fuck. Lynn Singleton. <laughs> Lynn S- uh, 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 if they do raw dog or not. <laughs> Lynn Singleton was fired by the Broward County School Board Tuesday after mm. a recommendation for termination by Superintendent Robert Runcie. Uh, according to school board documents, Singleton was seen by another teacher stumbling as she was escorting her first grade students to class at Lloyd Estates Ele- uh, excuse me, Elementary School in Oakland Park. The teacher notified the school's principal, who noticed an odor of alcohol while speaking with Singleton. Uh, the principal also noticed that Singleton was irritable and unable to respond to questions while she is a first grade teacher. 
Uh, Listen, according to Ted, you, you, you smell like Bobby's kisses. Hey, <laughs> Listen, listen, little Bobby, if you don't shut the fuck up, I will kick you in the nuts. According to the report, Singleton let her entire first grade class go to the portable restroom unsupervised, and a student in class was injured when his finger got caught in a door on his way back to the classroom. Oh, God. Renzi said that in the... In the complaint that Singleton was tested for alcohol and drugs under the school district's drug-free workplace policy, a breathalyzer test showed an initial reading of 2.235, as more than double the legal state limit of 0.08. She was hired by the school district in 96. Children, children, this is what we call a buttery nipple. A highball, uh-huh. <laughs> a Jolly Rancher, and my favorite, the blowjob. Now, now the blowjob, you, you got <laughs> I want one of you little bastards to make me sex on the beach. Now, if you'll excuse me, Miss <laughs> Parker has to take a little nap. <laughs> and just falls over okay. on the floor. <laughs> Sometimes, kids, alcoholism is a bitch. So, the best That's cure so- for it is hair of the dog. Listen. I need a Bloody Mary and some chicken wings. Listen, little Susie and little Bobby. The two of you keep on making fun of each other. It's obvious that the two of you Why like each other. So the two just, of you just fuck already. What? <laughs> I was actually I was gonna go with make out with each other, but the two Listen. Of you just kiss and get it over with. Number one, uh, the the right. e, our number one story is entitled "The ER is Number One," and wouldn't you fucking know it? It's Florida. Ugh. A Florida. Oh my god! A Florida man is a Florida man is a Florida man. Florida man. Uh, this is Florida man. Uh, Florida man. Florida man. <laughs> and the story actually starts a Florida man. Florida. The story does actually start a Florida man. So we weren't wrong. A uh, Florida man is accused of possibly contaminating medications after after he urinated on a Tavares hospital refrigerator. Well, that's certainly a good way to contaminate medication. The refrigerator in the central Florida town was stocked with hundreds of thousands of dollars of medicine. Clyde Brooks, <laughs> right turn Clyde, was in the emergency room Tuesday night when he began to urinate on the walls and floor, also hitting a small refrigerator, according to the report. Concerned about contamination, hospital officials tossed the medications. Brooks was charged with criminal mischief. He has been arrested 19 other times in the past 10 years Wait. on charges that included <laughs> trespassing, hey. disorderly <laughs> conduct, and indecent exposure. Hey, wait a second. Is that Mr. Wilson's uh, Alzheimer's medication? <laughs> oh. It's okay. He'll forget about it. Yeah, well, and everything else. <laughs> I may have oh, Alzheimer's oh, this guy is a looker. and repeat myself. This and guy is. Over the walls. This guy is a looker. Let me give he you his. A, uh, oh. What? Oh why am I feeling I'm not gonna like what I there see? There you go. Enjoy. He's a <laughs> uh, Mother of. Oh is my that God! George it's Garner Don Vito. Is that? No, it's uh, Don, Don Vito. Uh, Don Don Vito's dead. He came back to life as this guy. Did Job of the Hut? Did Job of the Hut and Bruce Valange fucking have a baby? He's got a really tidy face. It's like I I swear. I I don't I don't fucking even. He looks like the he looks. He looks like the type of guy when he talks, it just rolls on his face. Like I, I, just, oh, I'm gonna, I think I'm he gonna, has rolls on his face. I, I, yeah, I like, swear, the reason I'm pissing on these drugs is I'm not drunk. Oh my god, Adam yeah, Snyder. I, I, <laughs> I, 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 on these Adam Snyder's back, everybody. Hi, everybody. I don't give a fuck. I don't give oh. a fuck. Wow, Florida, you're on fucking fire this week. Hey, if I you were so on fire, <laughs> we wish you were. We wish you. Florida. We wish you were literally. <laughs> we wish you were literally on fire. <laughs> it is. No, it's like if if they were so on fire, Alicia Keys would write a song about it. That's how on fire they are. This uh, fat fuck is on fire. <laughs> 
This fat tubby piece of shit is on fire. Uh, this week in music on March 25th, Yom's, Vic- Yom's Viking by Amon Amarth. The Black by Asking Alexandria, Patch the Sky by Bob Mould, Genesis by Domo Genesis, uh, Eric what? Bachman self-titled, I'm a Piece of Shit by Father. Whoa, 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 whoa. Back, that one, back up a little bit, what was that? I'm a Piece of Shit. Piece of Shit by Vader. By Father. By <laughs> Wow. I'm a piece of, you know, I, wow. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Somebody clearly has daddy issues. <laughs> yeah, Vader. Yeah. No, That's nobody a... said Vader. Why are you getting well, Vader from? But there is a va- band called Vader. Yeah, but it's not this. This is a band called Father. Don't you remember when Vader was like, I will fuck this shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Blues of Desperation by Joe Bonus Massa. Uh, More Issues Than Vogue by K. Michelle. I'll Forget 17 by Lontalis. The Very Last Day by Parker Millsap. Blood Sweat by Plague Vendor. Dame Fortune by RJD2. Hitch by The Joy Formidable. We Disappear by The Thermals. Stiff by White Denim. And Mind of Mind by Zayn Malik. Apparently, apparently Father is an alternative metal band from Croatia. (laughs) I'm a piece of shit. I'm a piece of shit. And they still have a MySpace page. <laughs> <laughs> wow. This week in movies, and we'll have to forego the IMDb thing, because Chelsea's not here tonight. Uh, on the 25th of March, Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice, starring Ben Affleck, Henry Cavill, Amy Adams, Jesse Eisenberg, Mark Zuckerberg, uh, Diane Lane, <laughs> Lawrence Fishburne, Jeremy Irons, Holly Hunter, Gal Gadot, Scoot McNary, Tao Okamoto, Callan Mulvey, Michael Cassidy, and Christina Wren. Well, I'm sure everybody I, knows. That's something for this movie. It's actually, uh, long story short, Orphan Fight, the movie. <laughs> yeah, it is. I Saw the Light, starring Tom Hiddleston and Elizabeth Olsen. And this is uh, Hank Williams' biopic, I believe. Tom uh, Hiddleston. Uh, Tom Hidd- short, uh, Tom Hidd- people come. Hank Williams. Yes, Tom Hiddleston, yeah. a pasty English actor, is playing a country western music singer. And he actually does pretty well at it. Uh, <laughs> here we go. I saw uh, the side. Quick one. Uh, story of country western singer Hank Williams, who in his brief life... Created one of the greatest bodies of work in American music. Oh, are you doing the IMDb this week, Jace? <laughs> I might as well. I, I had it in front of me. Uh, my Big Fat Greek Wedding 2, starring Nia Verdalos, John Corbett, Ian Gomez, and Elena Kampouris. Not Ooh, much to say yeah. about it. I mean, Who else is in this movie? Uh, That's the it. plot. Uh, a Porticolos family secret brings the beloved characters back together for an even bigger and Greeker wedding. Joey <laughs> That is the one line that this movie has. Fun. They're They're watching, starring Bridget Branagh, David Alpe, Chris Lemke, Dmitry Dianchenko, and Carrie Gonzell. Uh, An American TV crew gets trapped in a centuries-old web of revenge, horror, and blood when their home improvement show is attacked by angry Eastern European villagers out to kill the show's star. Oof. Interesting. And, and on uh, March 30th, Everybody Wants Some, starring Blake Jenner, Rain Guzman, Tyler Hawkland, Wyatt, Ru- Wyatt Russell, and Zoe Deutsch. Everybody I hate in life. <laughs> Everybody uh. wants some! <laughs> I want some too! Some too! <laughs> Yo! Basically, A group of college does. baseball players navigate their way through the freedoms and responsibilities of unsupervised adulthood. <laughs> They need an adult. I'm an adult. Oh God, I'm an adult. This week I in need an adult. this week I in, am an adult. This week in video games, March twenty first, Hyper Dimension Neptunia U Action Unleashed for Windows, XCOM Woo! Enemy Unknown for Vita. On March twenty second, Cat Lateral Damage for PS four. Day of the ten. <laughs> yep. Day of the Tentacle remastered for Windows, Mac, Linux, PS4, and Vita. Oh, awesome. Uh, we might have to play Day of the Tentacle pretty soon on MVG Live then. Uh, cause Such a I can game. get the, I can get the original game and play it on ScumVM. Uh, Republic by, uh, for Windows, Mac, PS4, iOS, and Droid. 
Stranger of Sword City for Xbox One and Vita, Trackmania Turbo for Windows, PS4, and Xbox One. On March 23rd, Way of the Samurai 3 for Windows. On March 24th, Dead or Alive Extreme 3 for PS4 and Vita. Summer Wars 3 for Windows and Mac, and Slain for Windows. And on March 25th, Hyrule Warriors Legends for 3DS. Chat! Chat! I can't wait to play as Zelda. Hey, uh, Link. Hey, Link, what do you... Link. What, yeah? What do, you, what do you do when you go to the bathroom? Chat! I was about to say, the, the reason why he does that is because he doesn't have any Philip stool softener. <laughs> if, only, if only if only some kind soul <laughs> <laughs> that was the most perfectly timed <laughs> fart noise I could have ever, I could have ever done that was and a... then afterwards afterwards just like I feel better uh, <laughs> excuse I mean, why me do you princess think he wore those, well, why do you think he wore those brown pants in the cartoon show exactly well he, he went from having white tights to wearing brown pants in uh, Twilight Princess so top 8 games that could be a TV show hmm. okay knowing the 8 ball and also having played this game and it's episodic format the way it was written mm-hmm. I'm going to go with Alan Wake okay um, I'm gonna say Castlevania. Okay. Did you have oh. one there? You had one too there, Scratchy McScratcherton. McScratch- Talking to you, Ash. Me? Yes. You're the Scratchy McScratcherton. Uh, sorry, I'm not trying to scratch the microphone. Uh, yes, I went with Watch Dogs. Okay. You got one, Bill? Yeah, Star Fox. All right. I will pick Ooh. Metroid. I would like to see Star Fox as like a Thunderbird style show. <laughs> No, that's that's the flower pot man. No, that's the flower pot man. That's different. Number eight, Devil May Cry. Yeah, he whines a lot too. Number seven, The Witcher, which would have to be on HBO. It would basically be Game of Thrones. Lots and lots of titties. Number six is Watch Dogs. Ooh. Number five is Mega Man. That, but that oh, was a TV John. show. No, we're talking about real life shows. Live action. Oh. oh. I think John would nut if they had a live action Mega Man TV series. Starring, speaking starring, speaking starring, of... Starring, go ahead. Starring Sam Elliott as Quick Man. Speaking of John Buston <laughs> and Nut, number four is Rainbow Six or The Division. Oh, yeah. He would... De- it all over. I'd have to clean that shit up. Number three... <sighs> Number three, Metroid. There you go. Yeah. Number two, Alan Wake. And number one, Infamous. Oh, I could see Infamous. Yeah. I am surprised Watch Dogs oh, got on cool. the list. Oh, it's cool. I mean, Watch Dogs... I'm surprised <laughs> that uh, you be... Well, look at it this way. Watch Dogs is part of Ubisoft's little... May or may not be canon super universe that they're building... Where, like, Watch Dogs is related to Assassin's Creed, which is related to Far Cry. <laughs> uh, so... Well, the reason... Is that, ga- is that game any good? I've, I've been wanting to play Watch Dogs, Watch Dogs for Watch Dogs. <laughs> yes, Watch Never Dogs mind. is really good. Uh, basically, you play as a hacker, and you hack girls' vibrators and dildos, <laughs> and you make them come. No, there's the uh, there's yes, the porn I parody for you guys. Out. There's there's the porn parody. Actually, you could even modify it further and call, just call it Crotch Dogs. <laughs> I, uh, Mike, Mike, when I get done playing Watch Dogs, I can let you borrow it. Oh, I God, yeah. do you PS- have it on PS4? Watch Dogs. Yes, I do. Excellent. I would love to play uh, that. Basically, the, the thing that's actually connecting uh, the theory, so to speak, is uh, they think that the main character, Aiden Pierce, may be a descendant of La Volpe, which is one of Ezio's allies ah. in the first two Assassin's Creed games in the Ezio trilogy. But there is subtle hints at the connection because some of the criminal convoy missions where you basically, you know, kill bad guys, you are actually going after high-ranking officials in Abstergo, and some of the people that you come across on the streets might be former Abstergo employees. So it's kind of got subtle connections to Assassin's Creed and whatnot. And the same thing 
from what John told me as the division, because there may have been one or two segments where you see um, Aiden, who's right. the 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 main guy that you play. But I mean, basically, that was that was one of the big what ifs. Like, what if Aiden was trained to be an assassin? I mean, technically, he does parkour. He's really good with guns. Uh, obviously, he's a little different. You know, but there's there's a whole episode I, of Game Theory where they actually pull together the links not only from Assassin's Creed and Watch Dogs, they tie it into Far Cry as well. Yep, Far Cry pet me. So uh, we do has a w- award show to cover. Uh, the South by Southwest Gaming Awards actually happened, and uh, you know, it was it was hosted by Jack Septicai. Yes, Jack Septicai. Oh, so I'm, I'm actually gonna. I'm actually going to give Jack Septic Guy a chance because he seems like a really good oh, guy. Oh, top of the barn, then, to you. Yeah. Uh, full list of winners. Here we go. Video game of the year went to The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Uh, mobile game. Because of the team. Yes. Uh, mobile game of the year, Her Story. Tabletop game of the year, Pandemic Legacy. Oh, that's a good Damn game. It. Uh, excellence in gameplay, Metal Gear Solid 5, The Phantom Pain. Yes. Excellence in art, Bloodborne. Ex- okay. Excellence, excellence in animation, Rise of the Tomb Raider. Excellence mm. in technical achievement, Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Titties. Uh, t- well, excellence in vi- visual achievement, The Order 1886. The fuck is that shit? Uh, it's a... It's a PS4 game where you go around in, like, a alternate version of history and, Steampunk. uh... Yeah, it's, it's steampunk and you mm-hmm. fight demons and stuff uh shameless plug watch uh adult entertainer gamers review of it because it's fucking hilarious there you go <laughs> uh excellence in narrative which are three the wild hunt excellence Titties. in design bloodborne excellence yeah. in sound effects star wars battlefront oh. obviously excellence in wow. music excellence in musical score ori in the blind forest hmm Excellence in multiplayer, Rocket League. Rocket League. <laughs> I love that game. That's that game is so good. Uh, excellence in convergent. I, want, I I really want to get Rocket League and hope hope and, and a computer that'll work with it while I stream because uh, mm. I really want to play that game. Uh, excellence too. excellence in convergence, Batman Arkham Knight. Uh, mo- most enduring character, Lara Croft, Rise of the Tomb Raider. Most valuable esports team, Evil Geniuses. Most entertaining online personality, Greg Miller. Most promising new intellectual property, Splatoon. Most fulfilling... Such a good game. Yes. Most fulfilling crowdfunded game, Undertale. The Matthew Crump Cultural Innovation Award went to Undertale. Gamer's Voice Award in single player, Super Hot. And Gamer's Voice Award in multiplayer, Gang Beasts. Super Hot. Super Super Hot. Super Hot. Super hot. Hot shingles, you say? So, uh, what game, <laughs> uh, what game turned 20 years old this week? Uh, Actually, today. Today. Yeah. Battletoads. Sonic. Nope. I thought um, it was Battletoads. I'll give you a hint. It's Capcom. Street, Street, Fighter? Street Fighter? Nope. Survival Horror. Oh, oh Resident, Resident, Evil. Resident Evil. Resident Evil first was released March 22nd, 1996. So it's 20 years old today. Uh, they will be uh, Capcom will be celebrating 20 years by releasing behind the scenes content about the Survivor Horror uh, Survivor Survival Horror series. That's very hard to say. The developer interviews will roll out over the next year and feature insights from a selection of team members who played a vital role in developing the series and the E Resident Evil brand itself. And the first in the series is an interview with producer Hiroyuki Kobayashi, who was involved with the series since the very first installment. There you go. 20 years old. Okay then. Punch that fucking. I'm rock. I'm wondering about. Uh, I keep hearing word of Sega throwing a big event for Sonic's birthday and talking about like what's next in the series for it. I'm really curious considering how bad Sonic's gotten. <laughs> I was gonna say what's next in the series for it. Hopefully something good. Sonic yeah. Sonic blows a walrus. No. Well, How's there's. About... <laughs> <laughs> I got it. I got a suggestion. How's about fucking retirement? They're That's, making a movie. They're still making too no much view. money off of it. No, that ain't gonna happen. I, I think they should just give up the ghost and let Nintendo develop the next Sonic game. 
Binding of Isaac developer Edmund McMillan has teased a new game, The Legend of Bumbo. Ooh. Uh, the McMill- Legend of The Legend of what? Bumbo. McMillan isn't giving away much at the moment, but a post on Isaac Tumblr gives a few details. Namely, it's a turn-based puzzle RPG thingy, which features a randomly generated something. And James Id, the man responsible for all the Isaac trailers, is handing, handling programming along with 3D elements such as art. McMillan said he's designing, writing, and covering the 2D side of the project, while Ridiculon, the team behind Binding of Isaac's OST, will be covering the audio. Okay, so this, this next part of this article put, pisses me off a little bit. What has fans scratching their heads at the moment is the question as to why this announcement is on the Isaac blog. Does the legend of Bumbo have something to do with Isaac? It's in the... F- He's an item in the fucking game, you dick! <laughs> <laughs> He's from the Binding of Isaac! This is a direct spinoff! You fuck! <laughs> you clods. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, yes. <laughs> Thank you, Ashley. That was really insightful. <laughs> ladies, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, wait, wait, wait a minute, hang on. Ladies and gentlemen, I have a very important <laughs> announcement. I need everybody, everybody needs to listen. <clears throat> Titties. I have a very <laughs> impotent announcement. Uh, it's... I... T- <laughs> I couldn't think of it. I, oh, Neutral Milk Hotel. Yeah, sorry, I forgot the phrase. <laughs> that was not a Neutral Milk Hotel moment. <laughs> it's, like, it's like all I'm thinking is, yes, this sounds like a Neutral Milk Hotel. And I'm like, crap, what the fuck is it? Just say something. And I'm like, yes. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, yes. <laughs> That's all. That is all. Yes, it was a ba- they were banned from the 60s to the 80s. What's your point? Um, uh, I like Leave It. I've seen a good people. They, they were a band from. They're still a band. Oh well, they've they've gone through yeah, numerous numerous like lineup changes. So I'm loading up the the Jokerty sounds. Uh, oops, I'm loading up the uh, Jokerty sounds, even though you guys ain't gonna be able to hear them. So not like it friggin' matters. Uh, uh, but hopefully that uh, they'll still show up on the uh, thing. So I'm not playing anyways. Yeah, no, you're not. Uh, the other three are. Right. So oh, way to leave me hanging, Bill. Well, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be muting my mic and zoning out. It keeps me so. hanging on. Do, do, do. So, uh, got him. All right, here I'm we go, guys. It's time through. for the I'm home gonna... stretch, and therefore, this is Jokerty. I need to pull up and see <laughs> the the totals for the champions <laughs> before I start doing that. All right. Uh, okay. This is Jokerty. Oh, come on. Load, damn it. This again? It's Jokerty. <laughs> it's seriously, Jokerty, goddammit! <laughs> this is Jokerty, we swear. I'm gonna get double teamed more than a DBZ character in a fist fight. <laughs> fist. Mm. I'm, so, I'm so glad that's how you ended that sentence. This is Jokerty. Let's meet our contestants. First... A cast member of Dartboard Cinema from Fort Wayne, Indiana, Ashley Miller. Next are two co-champions. First, a producer on the Metal Cast and cast member of You Can't Be Serious from Staten Island, New York, Dane Forgione, whose one-week cash total is $47,400. Hi. And our other co-champion, an actor from Boston, Massachusetts, and cast member of You Can't Be Serious, Jace D. Ace, whose seven-week cash total totals $331,300. He might as well be a regular <laughs> cast member on this show. Yeah. <laughs> rich bitch. I'm rich I bitch. I wish. Too bad this money's not real. <laughs> this money's not real. <laughs> Neither is Nicki Minaj's ass. I don't know, fuck it. So, uh, we all know how this Dude, works by now. No, oh, it's to, girl, you know. Need to pull out. So we have two, uh, two defending co-champions, so there will only be one after today, hopefully. As long as they don't end in a tie, that would be fucking ridiculously hilarious. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so that would be, that would be pretty fucking funny. I gotta tell ya. <laughs> I would laugh. <laughs> I would laugh my nuts off. All three of them. Uh, let me set a timer here for the uh, first round. 15 minutes. So the uh, categories. I got a copy paste here real quick. Categories for the first round of play are as follows. Mental cast guest stars. 
Five Shades of Grey, Celebrity Date Book, Superlative States, MVG Live, and A Few Good Men, men in quotations. Uh, you know what that means. Yeah. The answer has the word men in it. Yes. Ah. Oh. Ah. And I, in fact, I believe they all end with M-E-N, so... Oh, okay. All right, so we have two <clears throat> champions, so normally the champion goes first, so we have two champions, so the one with the most amount goes first, and that's Jace. BSD. And I has the timer set now, so let me get it pulled up. There we go. So uh, the timer will start, Jace, when you pick your first category... Joker, Five Shades of Grey, Superlative States. Mm, let's go with uh, Superlative States. Okay. Uh, the smallest state, this, 1,214 square miles. What is Rhode Island? That is correct. Dane, uh, MVG Live, Joker, Celebrity Date Book. Uh, Joker, Celebrity Date Book. May 21st, 1999, this daytime drama star had lost out on 18 straight Emmys, but it isn't going to be 19. Uh, what was her name? That's the question. <laughs> I know, I'm trying to think. Can you repeat that? May 21st, 1999, this daytime drama star had lost out on 18 straight Emmys, but it isn't going to be 19. Uh, who is Susan Bucci? That is correct. Uh, Ashley, for you. Joker, A Few Good Men, MVG Live. I'm going to go with Joker, MVG Live. This game glitched out and left a character Mike was controlling stuck in the ceiling until he used Fairy to escape. What is what is Legend of Zelda Link's Adventure? I'm sorry, that's wrong. Jace? Fuck! What is Ocarina of Time? Nope. Dane? What is Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link? That's correct. Ashley said the title wrong, so I couldn't give her credit for it. Sorry. Uh, Jace, Mental Cast Guest Stars, Superlative States, Superlative States. Uh, Superlative States. Biggest retailer, this company based in Washington State. What is Amazon.com? That is correct. Dane, uh, Joker, Joker, Joker. Stop the clock. Which hmm. category do you want, Dane? Um, let's try, let's try Mental Cast Guest Stars. And for how much? Two, four, six, eight, or a thousand? Two. All right. This is only for Dane. This famous critiquer of the nostalgic appeared in the summer of 2011. Who is Doug Walker? That is correct. And you double your score there because of that, because it was worth Yay. 800 to you. Uh, all right. Ashley, Joker, Five Shades of Grey, Superlative States. Let's go with Joker, Five Shades of Grey. Don't get burned up naming this three-letter tree in a type of light greenish gray. What is... Ash? That is correct. Jace, Joker, MVG Live, Joker. Uh, go Joker Superlative States. Longest bridge span, Verrazano Narrows in this state, 4,260 uh, 4, feet. Uh, where is New York? That is correct. It's literally, it's literally right near my house, so. <laughs> yeah, you would have got that. Dane, uh, Mental Cast Guest Stars, A Few Good Men, Joker. Joker, Mental Cast Guest Stars. This two-time guest star is famous for his controversial comic book, Jeffrey Dahmer vs. Jesus Christ. Who is that sweet, sexy, heart D. Fisher? That is correct. Ashley, Superlative States Celebrity Date Book, Joker. I'm going to go with... Joker, Mental Cast Guest Stars. When asked about David Duchovny, this Mental Cast Guest Star replied, I don't like him. Oh, dear. What is... Or who is Josh Hadley? Incorrect. Jace? Damn. Uh... Oh, shit. Um... Who's... Michael Ray Bauer? That is correct. Yep. Motherfucker! That was he the first... He went on quite a rant about that. Jace, MVG Live, MVG Live, Joker. Uh, let's do Superlative States again. Deepest Lake, this one in Oregon, 1,943 feet. Uh, what is... Crap. What is Crater Lake? That is correct. Dane, Celebrity Date Book, Joker, Five Shades of Grey. Joker, Celebrity Date Book. 
March 28, 2013, this pop star won't try again to bring a monkey to Germany without immunization papers. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Uh, Ashley? Could you repeat the question, please? March 28, 2013, this pop star won't try again to bring a monkey to Germany without immunization papers. Who is Michael Jackson? No, he wasn't alive in 2013. Yeah, I was going to say he was dead, yeah. This crazy bastard is looking to move to New England, unfortunately. Who is Justin Bieber? That is correct. Motherfucker. That's an Ashley. Ashley, MVG yeah. Live, Metal Cast Guest Stars, Celebrity Date Book. Metal Cast Guest Stars, and I apologize about the monkey. Spoiler alert, this king of nerdcore and frequent PAX guest appeared on the show in January 2013. Who is MC Frontalot? That is correct. You have no idea how many times I've listened to that fucking episode. Jace, Joker, 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 stop the clock. What category do you want? Uh, let's go with uh, Celebrity Date Book for a thousand. All right. This is only for Jace, and I'm only going to say it once, so be, be listening. Here we go. October 19, 2014. Jimmy Fallon roasts and honors this predecessor who's getting the Mark Twain Prize for humor. Who's Jay Leno? That is correct. All right, we're up to Dane. Superlative States, Joker, Mental Cast Guest Stars. Joker, Mental Cast Guest Stars. All right, Daily Double, stop the clock again. Actually, never had to restart it. <laughs> uh, so it's Daily Double for you, Dane. Right now, you are in second place. Uh, Jace has 9,200, you have 2,400, you are double Ashley at the moment as well, so how much of your 2,400 do you want to wager? A thousand. Alright, this is only for Dane, and I'm only gonna, I'm only gonna read it once. Here we go. This multiple time guest star has actually appeared in episodes of Phalus and the Movies as the Ober Actor. Who is the cinema snob, Brad Jones? That is incorrect. Who is Stephanie Gooch? Stephanie Gooch. Uh, because it was a daily double, you lose that thousand. We go now to Ashley. Ashley, Joker, 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 stop the clock. We, It's been frozen at the same time now for the last three turns. <laughs> keeping in mind, uh, uh, keeping in mind, Metal Cast Guest Stars is, all out, is off the table. Which category do you want? Uh, let's go with Five Shades of Grey. Okay, and how much do you want to make this worth? Do you want the four, six, eight hundred, or a thousand dollar clue? I'll do the four hundred. Okay, uh, give me one moment to. G I'm getting rid of mental cast guest stars out of the thing now. Okay, so a uh, four hundred dollar clue in uh, five shades of gray. Here we go. A grayish white or a tasty mollusk of that color. What is oyster? That is correct. <laughs> All right, uh, Jace, Joker, Joker, Joker. Holy we're, ne shit. we're never gonna start this clock again. I'm telling you. All right, we're Jace. We're getting motherfucking super sane. Jace, uh, you know All what right. to do and how to do it. What All category? Right, let's. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, Fuck, um, let's go Five Shades of Grey for a thousand. All right, and this actually comes with a, uh, a, a visual clue, so I'm going to be posting it in there for you in just a moment. You'll never sink this color of the USS Iowa. <laughs> uh, what is Battleship Grey? That is correct. <laughs> Why is that worth a thousand if it's the USS Iowa and it's a color? Like, that's kind of obvious. I didn't write the questions. God damn it, Jeopardy. You were lazy on the $1,000 ones. Like, come on. All right. Uh, let's hope we can get this clock started again. We could we could run out all the categories doing it this way, but uh, it is now Dane's turn. Dane, MVG Live, Five Shades of Grey, Joker. Joker, MVG Live. This Flash-based game was created uh, created by Ed McM McMillan was the winner of the first ever Viewer's Choice show in May of 2014. What is the Binding of Isaac? That is correct. Uh, Ashley, Joker, Joker, A Few Good Men. I'll go with... Is MVG Live still available? Yes. 
Joker MVG Live. On June 25th, 2014, Mike played the fourth volume of You Don't Know Jack, subtitled this. What is You Don't Know Jack? Let's see. Subtitle. Subtitle. What is the ride? That's correct. Oh, that was a guess. Jace, Joker, Five Shades of Grey, A Few Good Men. Uh, let's do Five Shades of Grey. You might find this dark purplish gray atop a roof or underneath the felt on a pool table. <laughs> what is slate? Yes, that's correct. Uh, Dane, Joker, MVG Live, Five Shades of Grey. Joker, uh, MVG Live. The entire month of July 2014 was devoted to this game, commonly referred to as the grandfather of first-person shooters. Um, what is Doom? No. Ashley? What is Wolfenstein? That is correct. Uh, Ashley, Five Shades of Grey, MVG Live, A Few Good Men. I'm going to go with Live. MVG Live? Played during the third Viewer's Choice special with Super Mario Land 2 Six Golden Coins and this Genesis platformer about a pop singer. Hmm. What is Rystar? No. Jace? Shit. I hacked my original Wii to play this on my TV because I don't own a Genesis. What is Michael Jackson's Moonwalker? That is correct. Motherfucker. And uh, that category is now gone, so just keep that in mind. I am uh, removing it from the list now. And uh, we should be good to go for... This is Jace's turn, so Jace for you. Superlative States, Joker, Joker. Uh, Joker, Joker, Superlative States. Widest Highway, the Katy Freeway in this state, 26 lanes. <laughs> My cousin and uh, one of my good friends uh, live down there. Uh, where is Texas? That is correct. Big and state, big highway. Not. And that category is also gone. <laughs> We're getting getting down to the nitty gritty here in the first round. Uh, Dane for you. Joker, a few good men, Joker. Let's go with Joker, a few good men. Uh, term for first year high school or college students. What is a freshman? That is correct. Welcome, freshman. Uh, Ashley, Joker, Joker, Joker. You got Five Shades of Grey, Celebrity Date Book, and A Few Good Men left. Which one do you want? I'll go with A Few Good Men. Four, eight, uh, four six, eight, or a thousand? Mm, okay, eight hundred. Okay, this comes with a, uh, a visual aid. So there it is. Seen here, it's the part of a flower that produces p pollen. What is floral hymen? No, it's the, <laughs> it's the stamen. What is the stamen? Floral hymen. I'm not a botanist. Clearly. I'm not a botanist. Uh, Jace, so Joker, bad. Jace, Joker, A Few Good Men, Joker. Uh, Joker, Joker, Few Good Men. A prophetic sign or warning. Uh, what is an omen? That is correct. Uh. Dane, Five Shades of Grey, A Few Good Men, Joker. Joker, A Few Good Men. The Vikings of Europe were also known by this name. Norse, what is Norseman? That is correct. I, I was blanking on it. I think it's because the medication is kicking in. Ashley, Celebrity Date Book, A Few Good Men, Joker. I'll go with Joker, Celebrity Date Book. It's January 22nd, 2006. The Raptors and the other Lakers are bystanders as he pours in 81 points and adds two assists. Uh, who is Shaq? No. Jace? Fuck. Who is Kobe? That is correct. Kobe Bryant. Pretty much, he's, he's pretty much the only one who could do that. Uh, Shaq, I think, was retired by then. Yeah. Uh, Jace, Five Shades of Grey, Joker, Joker. Joker, Joker, Five Shades. Maybe American Eagle flew to the moors of Scotland to get this speckled gray for its zip pocket jogger pants. <laughs> uh, what is Heather Gray? 
That is correct. That category is gone. So let me let me take the second to get rid of that. Boop and boop and boop. Dane. A yep. uh, few good men, a few good men celebrity date book. Few good men. August uh oh sorry. Uh from a Latin word for sharpness, it means keen insight. Um I don't know. Ashley? Keen or good insight. I don't know. Jace? What is uh, acumen? That is correct. That category is also now depleted. And let me get rid of that here, and we'll spin the wheel one last time for Ashley. This will be the last turn. Uh, All right, Ashley, for you, Celebrity Date Book, Joker, Joker. Joker, Joker, Celebrity Date Book. August 5th, 2015, she and Justin Thoreau have a wedding so secret, some guest arrive thinking it's just a house party. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> That's a good question. Uh, who is ScarJo? Incorrect. Jace? I have no clue. Dane? Who is Jennifer Aniston? That is correct. And that is the end of our that is the end of the first round of play and at the end of the first round Jace is in the lead with 25,200. Dane is in second with 6400. He just pulled into second with that last correct answer. Ashley's in third with 5600. She'll be going first in double jeopardy. Two daily doubles Spider on the board. Monkeys. Whoops. I accidentally closed out of the the window I was using for random generation. Uh not like it matters though. I was resetting the list anyway. Uh, like I said, two daily doubles in the uh, double Jeopardy round, and of course all the dollar values are doubled. So a comeback could happen at any time. As I said, Ashley will go first. The categories for this round of play are as follows. In-game towns, more MVG Live, literary crime watch, C in science, C in quotation, so you know what that means, the pro sports team and band name, and in honor of his 31st birthday, we're going to learn about people as old as Dane. That's the S- categories. Sweet. <sighs> okay. All right, so we are ready to go for round three, uh, round two, rather. Uh, Ashley, you're going to go first, and you're going to select Joker, C and Science Joker. I'm going to go Joker more MVG Live. Played during WTF Saturday Night was this soft drink based mascot game released only in Japan. What is Pepsi Man? That is correct. Pepsi Man! Dane. Uh, I'm sorry, Jace. More in VG yeah. Live. More in VG Live. Joker. Literary Crime Watch. Uh, let's do the Crime Watch. Colonel Sebastian Moran was the evil sidekick of this Sherlock Holmes nemesis. Who is Moriarty? That is correct. Dane, Literary Crime Watch, C in Science, Joker. Joker, Literary Crime Watch. This 1966 book begins, The Village of Holcomb stands on the high wheat plains of western Kansas. What is ink blood? That is correct. Ashley, C in Science, Joker, In Game Towns. Let's go with Joker, In Game Towns. Onet, Tucson, Threed. <laughs> What is mother? I will accept. Uh, what is earth? What is earthbound? Uh, Jace, Joker, C and Science, Joker. Joker, Joker, C and Science. Taiga forests of the northern hemisphere are generally composed of this type of tree, not deciduous. Starts with C, not evergreen. Uh, what is coniferous? That is correct. I figured it was the linden tree because they always smell like cum. Dane, the pro sto- <laughs> I'm going to ignore that. The pro sports, the pro sports team and band name, more MVG Live, Literary Crime Watch. <laughs> the pro sports. <laughs> Sada Haru O, Frank Gifford, Tim Lin- Lincoln, they might be these. <laughs> what? What are the giants? Yeah, that's correct. <laughs> I get, like this category. Yeah, yeah, I think you get the category now. That's great. Ashley, yeah. C in science, Joker as old as Dane. Let's go with Joker as old as Dane. Australian swimmer Kelly Waite, who competed in the 2002 Pan Pacific Swimming Championships in, the, in this Japanese city. What is Okinawa? That is incorrect. Jace? 
What is Osaka? That is incorrect. Dane. What is Tokyo? No. What is Yokohama? Yokohama. Ah. What is Yoko Ono? What is motherfucker? Jace, see in science. Joker, see in science. Uh, I guess I'm seeing science. Sounds sweet, but it's actually an electronic footprint that allows websites to monitor a user's online movements. (laughs) What are cookies? That is correct. That's considered science? Yeah, technology is a science. True. Dane, the pro sports team and band name Joker Joker. Joker, the pro sports team and band name. It follows Sacramento or Gypsy. Hmm. It follows Sacramento. Oh, one of the Kings. That's correct. In, in the Gypsy, <laughs> I, I, Kings, Gypsy Kings, one yeah, of your favorite I had, bands. Yeah, I had to think about that first. <laughs> it's one of your favorite bands. Uh, Ashley, pro sports team and band name, pro sports team and band name, Joker. Joker, pro sports team and band name. One had Ron Jaworski, the other Don Henley. <laughs> Fuck! Uh, what is Chicago? No. Jace. Fuck! Who are the Eagles? That's correct. <sighs> Fuck you, Satara. <laughs> <laughs> it's not his what fault. Don't blame him. What did Satara ever do? Uh, uh have you... Jace, <sighs> Joker, seeing science as old as Dane. Uh, let's do science. A spin device can cool a warm drink fast by spinning liquid from the center to the cold outer edge of the can, speeding up this heat transfer process, also used in many ovens. What is convection? That is correct. I used to sell those convection toaster ovens. I used to sell those, along with my blood. Uh, Dane, Literary Crime Watch, Joker, the sports pro team and band name. Band name. Also an NBA team in a British band name, it follows Love and... Hmm. Love and Rockets. What What is Rockets? That is correct. Uh... Ashley, more MVG Live, as old as Dane, as old as Dane. Let's go with as old as Dane. American football cornerback Mike Jenkins, who first played for this team, whose stadium is home to WrestleMania this year. Uh, think, 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 think. Uh, man, I think I Um, thinking, talking to myself. Uh, what is, what is the Cowboys? That's correct. Yeah. Oh! Oh my god, I just gave myself a Charlie horse, but it was awesome. Jace, see in, sci- see in science, as old as Dane, more MVG live. See in science. It's the second largest part of the brain. It's not the medulla oblongata. Uh, <laughs> what is the cerebellum? That is correct. Dane, see in science, see in science, Joker. Uh, let's, I guess uh, see in science. The third and last period of the Mesozoic era. What is the Cretaceous? That's correct. And I must pause the timer for a moment as that category is actually d- depleted. A depleted. So you don't have to worry about getting a C in science anymore. Now we're going to get an A in arithmetic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sure. We'll go with that. That's alliteration, bitches. Ashley, as old as Dane, Literary Crime Watch, more in VG Live. Let's go with more MVG Live. The last game played in October 2014 for MVG Dead was this popular horror game on Steam, played after Castlevania Dracula X. Can't be Five Nights. It couldn't be... Fuck it. Uh, I'm going to go with Five Nights at Freddy's. Joker. Joker D. It's Jeopardy. That's what I said. It's what Jeopardy. is Five Nights? Form of a question. I thought I said what is no, you, Five Nights at no, Freddy's. No, you, you didn't. You just said the answer for me. You didn't phrase it in the form of a question. I'll go ahead and take it this I, time, but be careful about that. Uh, the, my fucking audio has been cutting. I'm sorry. Uh, Alright, Jace. Joker, Literary Crime Watch, Joker. Uh, let's go Joker Pro Sports Band Name. In the NHL, it follows St. Louis. In music, it precedes Traveler. <laughs> what is blues? That is correct. And that category is two now depleted. Sorry to say. It was a fun category while it lasted. Alright. And we're up to Dane Ugh. now, I believe. So Dane. Yes. In Game Towns Literary Crime Watch Joker. 
Joker in game towns. Saria, Ruto, Darunia. What is Legend of Zelda the Ocarina of Time? Incorrect. Ashley? What is Hyrule? <laughs> Jace. <laughs> <laughs> What is the adventure of Link? That is correct. Saria, Ruto, and Darunia were characters in Ocarina of Time, named after the adventures of Link Towns. So, that's where that's where you got confuzzled. Uh, Ashley, Joker. Ashley, Joker, as old as Dane, literary crime watch. Let's go with Joker, as old as Dane. Justin Masterson, the pitcher formerly of this team from Jace's Neck of the Woods. <laughs> oh my god, um... Uh, where is New Jersey? No. I'm sorry, Jace. <laughs> Jace? How dare you? New Jersey's a horrible place. <laughs> uh, repeat the question real quick. Justin Masterson, the pitcher formerly of this team from Jace's Neck of the Woods. Who are the Boston Red Sox? That is correct. And they it is suck. A wicked, they're a wicked piss at team. And they suck. <laughs> Yankees suck. Jace, Joker, Joker, more MVG Live. I guess MVG Live. It was during Psst on a night devoted to this system where one of the greatest burns on Adam Snyder was made. Uh, fuck. I don't know. Uh, what is uh, the Atari Jaguar? No. Dane? What is the ZX Spectrum? That is correct. I know because I was there. <laughs> yeah. Is that the Herbie Spilled Poo incident? Herbie Spilled Poo. Uh, Ashley, Joker Literary Crime Watch Joker. Uh, let's go with Joker Literary Crime Watch. Los Angeles-based novels by James Elroy include L.A. Confidential and this one about an actual unsolved 1947 murder. What is the Black Dahlia? That is correct. And this round's time is expired. So we are done. Let me add this to her total here. Uh, all right. Oh, my God. After the second round of play... In third place with 12,800 is Ashley. In second place with 23,400 is Dane. Jace is leading with 46,000 even. It's actually a, a high score for everybody. That's amazing. It's a pissa. That's a wicked pissa. Wicked pissa. There they are in the chat for you. Uh, uh, your final Jeopardy category is United Nations Nations. Go ahead and send me your wagers via private message to do that. Click on the the little heads above uh, above the just, in the upper left there, hand corner. Is there a limit? Is there a limit to how much money we can wager? Uh, just how your total. <laughs> you can you cannot wager more than what you have. I am trying to. <laughs> I am trying. trying. No, like, cause I'm afraid that if I fuck this up, it's gonna be like bad, really mm -hmm. bad. Super duper uh, bad. Wicked bad. Wicked pizza. Red Sox suck. Yankees suck. <sighs> it's Fuck true, it. they uh. do suck. <laughs> I don't deny it. I don't deny it. I don't deny you know who's you know what we can both agree on? Phillies suck. <laughs> okay, it's true, guys. there are so many teams out there that suck. The Tampa oh Bay my God, the Tampa Bay Rays suck, even though even though they beat Cuba today. Hank. Hank. Hank I got, got Jace's and I got uh, uh, Dane's. I don't have Ashley's yet. I'm afraid to touch anything in Discord because it's that fucking temperamental. Oh, you sent it to me in Skype. Oh, yeah. Dear. Yeah, whatever. That's fine. It's it's going to, trust me, it's going to take some time for me to learn Discord because we're going to use it for dartboard thanks to Skype being a dick whore. All right, everybody's got their wagers in. Let me pull up yep. that. I, I, I will at least play the think music for folks at home so that they can hear it. Because I closed the soundboard a long time ago because I was like, wasn't even touching it. Um, so here's your United Nations Nations uh, final Jokerty question. Remember sending your responses in private message. This nation of 55 million is the only one to provide a secretary general but never have a seat on the Security Council. You have 30 seconds, players. Good luck.
Just waiting on Dan's response now. I can I I could not I, I could not hear what you said. You cut out. Uh, this nation of 55 million is the only one to provide a secretary general, but never to have a seat on the Security Council. Did you send me a friend request, Jace? Yeah, just because this thing now supports it. Oh, I see that. Sure, I'll accept it. I don't know what that means, but I'll accept it. <laughs> I'm I'm assuming it'll just make shit easier in the future for uh, getting people onto servers. Possibly. Can my my thing is not. I'm trying to send the answer, but it's not working. It's, uh, hmm. Hang on, because I know the. Okay. Oh, here we go. Finally. Yeah, I think Discord uh, had an a uh, upgrade and caused Windows to crash earlier because uh, I cut out earlier in the show and briefly popped back in using Discord on my phone. And then uh, went back to it on my computer as soon as my computer finished booting back up. So I tried to send the answer like three times and it was just like freezing up. But there we go. All right. I'm getting the uh, putting the wagers together now. Still more support than okay. uh, Microsoft. <laughs> Here we go. We got everything in. Let's do this. The nation of 55 million is the only one to provide a secretary general but never have a seat on the Security Council. Let's... Let's see what happens. Ashley started this round in third place with 12,800. She wrote down, what is Belgium? I'm afraid that is incorrect. Uh, you wagered 6,000, so you dropped to $6,800. It was a shot in the dark. I didn't know. Next, we go to our co-champion, Dane Forgeon, who was in second place with 23,400. He put up a valiant effort. He wrote down, what is Burma? That is the correct answer. Burma or Myanmar. He wagers almost everything, 46,400. So, hmm, Jace has got to Jace has got to go, well not so big. He's got to wager at least $401 to win this. Let's see what happens. Jace, 46,000 even. He wrote down what is Burma. So that is the correct answer. Did he wager more than 400? He wagered 801. He wins by $399, uh. ladies and gentlemen. Jace is our 8-week champion. Just, just, just put him on the fucking cast. <laughs> he is on the fucking cast. <laughs> oh man! And that brings your total. By the way, like, you if, now if, have you now have an eight week total of three hundred seventy eight thousand one hundred one. So there you go. How do you, you know all this? How do you know all this shit? I don't know. <laughs> I'm completely serious, guys. Like. I'm like one of those whispered in full metal panic. Like, <laughs> I, my ears are constantly ringing. They say it's tinnitus, but my hearing is really freaking good. Just, I mean, like, seriously, I don't know how I know half this shit. I'll ha I used to have Game Show Network on in the background when I went to UMass Amherst. My girlfriend would just hear me shouting shit while I'm doing homework with Game Show Network on. She's like, how do you know this? I'm like, I don't know! How do these people not know the answer? What's wrong with them? <laughs> <laughs> like the, the uh, the, uh, show network, the people shouting like Sputnik at the TV. The Joker like, Championship fame football. has gone to Jace's head, ladies and gentlemen. I think so. <laughs> Just a little bit. Honestly, it's sleep deprivation due to insomnia that I've had lately. Thank you, Daylight Savings Time. You're welcome. And the fact that I have uh, work in like Ten hours. So, <laughs> so uh, let's let's wrap it up quick. Then, Jace, you were in for you won the game, so you get to you get to plug your shit first. All right. So, uh, look it up. Crit hit Jace. Uh, YouTube, uh, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. Even though I hardly ever use the damn thing, like you know, if, if you type in crit hit Jace, you will probably find me. Uh, I will be streaming on Twitch on days that I'm not closing. So, uh, yeah, uh, I will probably be streaming some shit on Twitch uh, tomorrow and Thursday. So, yeah. Twitch. Yeah. All right. Uh, second place, Dane, <clears throat> plug, plug your stuff. You can find me on Dollar Bill Reviews. Uh, the newest episode, hopefully, will be up on Thursday. Right, Bill? Yep. You can also find me on You Can't Be Serious and uh, In My House. Mm-hmm. Uh, third place, Ashley Miller. Plug your stuff. Well, um, you can find me currently 
on Dartboard Cinema, but we're kind of taking a small break. And, of course, from time to time, I'm on You Can't Be Serious and MVG Live when I'm not completely fucking knackered. In fact, Ashley will be on You Can't Be Serious this weekend for the live show. Uh, Tune in Saturday night, 10 o'clock Eastern Time, over on stream.tvfreemind.com. So that's... uh, she'll She'll be joined by... Melanie Ritter, uh, Adam Bednarczyk, and Chelsea Targington. Uh, all right, and Billy Carter, where do we find you? Yes, you can find me on Facebook, Billy Carter, Twitter, Billy Carter 17, YouTube, Dollar Bill Reviews. <coughs> um, you can also find me, um, on, uh, stream, on, on Steam, <laughs> uh, look me up, Dollar Bill 84. Um, you can also find me on, uh, You Can't Be Serious occasionally. You can find me on MBG Live. And also, you can find me on Wrestle Riffs, which comes out every Sunday. But guess what? There won't be one this weekend. Pe- possibly. Possibly. Why? possibly. Why do you say it like that? There won't be one this week because you're all lazy. Fuck it. You don't, you don't know that for sure anyway, because I could get a hold of Rick and see if he wants to do one. That is true. So, why don't you, you know, while Jace is here, why don't you just ask him? Jace, I would, but I think Jace works on Sundays. Uh, on, uh, on Saturday? Saturdays. On Saturdays. Saturdays, I work 11 to 7. Yeah, oh, see, he man. wouldn't be able to make it unless we recorded it at like 8 o'clock. Okay. I see. I mean,. You know, Billy and Dane aren't going to be there for the show, so if you want, I can wait a couple extra hours, Jace, if you want to do wrestle ribs. You know, I mean, I'm doing nothing on Saturday night, you know, so uh, why the hell not? Yeah, there you go. Fuck it. We're going to do oh, wrestle riffs. Oh, so, shit. So we're going to record yeah. wrestle riffs two hours late, but uh, we'll at least be able to record one this week. So I'm grateful for that. So it'll be me and Jace this week. I knew, I knew. Possibly Rick. I'll him. still try to get hold of Rick and see if he's down. I'll let him yeah, know we're going to record. If Road a Dog hours doesn't late. kill him. <laughs> uh, and then we'll have to record and then we'll have to wrap up and get the fuck, get the fuck going because you can't be serious. We'll be starting just right about a half an hour after we record Wrestle Riffs. So, <laughs> ah, it's going to be tight, but I think I can just make it work for marathon. this occasion. No, it's, 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 I can make it work for this, uh, for this occasion. It's going to be tight, but I think I can fit it. Ooh. Uh, uh, you can find me on, I'm on Twitter. I'm on Twitter, Facebook, and Steam, and uh, a bunch of other shit as Mentalcast MC. You can find me on those places. Uh, you can also find me on TVFurryMind.com where I do this show, Wrestle Rift, Slam, The Joker's Wild, You Can't Be Serious, things like that. A uh, new episode of You Can't Be Serious is up now. Go check it out. Starring uh, Michelle Light, Adam Bednarchik, Brody Brennan, and Dane Ford Joan. New episode will hit Patreon. Uh, on Thursday, and then the next new episode will air Saturday. So check that out as well. So that'll be that'll be fun. And uh, MVG Live. When you're hearing this, it's tomorrow or it's tonight, 10 o'clock Eastern. We're doing SNES Roulette. Stream.tvfreemind.com. All right. I'm Mike Riley. Dean Fortune. Billy Carter. I'm hungry. I am. Uh, guys. Um, why are military people busting down my door? Shit, uh, I should not have said those things about the whole whisper thing. Crap, uh, gotta go! We'll see you next week on the uh, Federal Pound Me in the Ass cast. Good night.